Hello again everybody. We now have a comparison between the Steam Deck and uh, its direct competitor, the Nintendo Switch. Uh, as you can see them one uh, by the other, one year the other, the Steam Deck is much bulkier and heavier than the Nintendo Switch and also uh, the screen is not much larger, I think they are almost the same. The actual display, I mean, not the screen, because the screen seems a little bigger or not even. Uh, but, uh, some uh, differences, the Steam Deck seems to be working smoother. It's touchscreen and also the controls. For the Nintendo Switch, they are not uh, so flawless. For example, um, great on decks, so these are the uh, old games. Okay. And it also makes a little vibration noise whenever um, uh, it changes something. Okay, so for the part of uh, input uh, sounds and uh, accessibility, the switch is also great, but the Steam Deck seems a little bit better. Uh, and now, for example, the, um, now I'm installing the GTA 5 or Steam and it's making a noise, some kind of noise. Uh, also the switch, when it uh, works a lot, uh, it makes a noise, a fan noise and it has a heater. Now I, I can even sense the heat here when it comes. Now I'm just downloading. I'm supposing that when I'm going to use it, it will be a lot worse on the Steam Deck. The controls, the sticks seems to be working almost the same, being uh, okay, the, the Steam Deck is new. It, the Steam Deck also has its touch, this, those touch pads. Now they're used as the directional buttons, but we'll see uh, if anything else works. Um, the Steam Deck has more triggers. It also has uh, Five and six, four and five. It also has four and five. The Nintendo Switch doesn't have stuff like this. It's also getting a little bit heated, but it's getting a little bit heated. But uh, the way I'm uh, holding it now, you can't feel the heat uh, on the hands because you you hold them only on the grips, which is an advantage, if you ask me, because if you hold the Switch. So it, it stays much better in your hand, even it's, if, it's, uh, if it is harder. But this is how you grip it. And the switch doesn't have uh, on its uh, normal uh, Joy-Cons, it doesn't have the same grip. So, and you also put your hands on it like this, and when it's uh, heating, you are going to feel it. On the Steam Deck, you don't feel the heat. Also, there are some special grips that you can change and make them look more like the Steam Deck. It will be of course bulkier, but uh, it will be a better um, uh, experience overall if you will change your Joy-Cons with those uh, grips. I uh, wanted to buy them myself, but it didn't get to it. <laughs> okay, so what are the differences? Oh, the cases. As you see, the case is much bigger for the Steam Deck and it comes included with the price, every version has it. This is the one with the most expensive version, the one with the 512 gigabytes. Uh, for the Nintendo Switch, you know the case. It also has a, a cartridge place and it's can put it something like this. So This is about it. Every uh, I don't know yet. If the this is uh, a bit. <laughs> this is just a size comparison and a first experience uh, comparison. After I will um, check the both of them. My, the, I know the switch. The switch battery lasts about two hours, two hours and a half, maybe three hours, depends what what you are playing. I will be also testing the Steam Deck and we'll get to you with um, 
other more technical differences like battery life, um, charging time maybe, I, I noticed that it's uh, half charged for now. I also made an unboxing video also and uh, there I showed some gameplay on the handheld uh, GTA 5. Be sure to check that out too. And I hope you like this comparison and uh, the ones to come. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button from my channel.